Today we are taking the bullet train from here in Taipei to Kao Xiong. We are approaching the Taipei main station. We have got our tickets. These tickets cost us 37 US dollars. Carolina found a discount, like an early bird discount, if you book through the uh, main train uh, website. And then actually you picked up the tickets from 7-Eleven, didn't you? Yes, I did. So it's very easy to pick up the tickets. I'm gonna head into the main station and see what this station has to offer. This is our first look inside of the main station here in Taipei. Wow, it's a very kind of retro vibe to this place. You can see there's a clock just over there. And uh, I think over here is where you get the tickets. You can see there's a bit of like a retro brown decor. So you can pick up your tickets from there, but we've already picked our tickets up from 7-Eleven. That was $37 per ticket and uh, you get a discount if you go for a particular time. All right guys, so we have come to the HSR train. I think we have to go through this platform here. We'll be able to see everything on the board, but I think we just scan on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's gone through. Oh, there we go. All right. So, just over here. Oh, there we go. So, we're going to be going down there to the train. But first, Carolina's in need of a coffee fix. So, we're going to be heading to this family mart that you can only access once you've gone through the gate. And uh, this is the family mart here. A very modern looking one. And uh, I think I'm gonna grab a drink. I've seen some sparkling water over here. Shall I go for San Pellegrino or shall I go for the regular stuff? I'm gonna treat myself. I'm gonna go for a San Pellegrino. There we go. Okay, so. Karina, are you gonna get a coffee? Yes. Oh. Okay. Ni hao. Could I get a cafe latte medium? Okay, hot. Hot. Hot, yep, hot. Hot. Medium. Yeah. <laughs> all right. 105. 105, just yeah. over there. Okay. Bank of England. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here you go. Okay. The bags need to go on. There you go. Coffee for you. And San Pellegrino for me. You know I'm cheating myself when I'm having uh, San Pellegrino, fancy sparkling water. But I'm super thirsty. It's getting pretty hot. The past couple of days here in Taipei have been kind of cool, but I think as we go south to Kaohsiung, it's gonna get really hot. Um, but I think we're gonna be now entering, yep, we're gonna be going down. And hopefully, we can see uh, a beautiful looking train. So we have about 15 minutes to go for the train and we're in car one. So we're at number three here. And you can actually see on the floor it says, Car three and three over there. So we're going to be going all the way to the end. And here you can actually see all the stop offs. So we're here in Taipei and we're going to be going through all of these stops all the way down to here. Wow, look how fast it's going! That's so fast. train but that is going at some speed the train has arrived look at that so beautiful oh what a beautiful looking train all right we're in carriage one wow there we go okay so very nice seating and it's also very quiet oh this is a good idea actually let's put that there so look at you over there which uh, seat are we in, Carolina? Our seat is 3D and 
3 d so actually <laughs> we're here okay go for it so very convenient very nice and easy the train arrived around three to four minutes before actually leaving and we still haven't left actually yet mm. And I actually remember that we chose these places because we wanted to be close to the doors. Okay, yeah, that's so true. But uh, you got some nice seating here. This is what it looks like. Very comfy. Wow, there's three seats. Yeah, there's three seats over there. But uh, lots of leg room as well. So plenty of leg room. We've got uh, a table. So... Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, you got... It started. Oh, there we go. So we've just got settled down onto the train. Uh, the train is actually for around two and a half hours and there is free Wi-Fi. There's open Wi-Fi, which we've just connected to. Let's check out the speed here using a Google speed test. Okay, so not the fastest, but more than enough to, I guess, uh, watch videos and do regular stuff on the internet. But uh, we do have a shout out to do so Caroline is gonna do the shout out we've got a San Pellegrino we've got a coffee there yeah so we actually wanted to say big thank you to Mengtube uh, who said well done Jay and Carolina and bought our first uh, KL guide and uh, also said that it was very informative and he personally loved uh, the colors so I'm super glad because I put all my heart and soul into this guide she's uh, she's the I guess the brains behind the guides. Yes. And uh, so thank you, Main Tube, who's been a very loyal supporter of ours throughout our uh, trip. I think even starting from the beginning in Singapore. Mm. Um, Do you mind grabbing the camera? I'm just going to open up my San Pellegrino, the fancy San Pellegrino. <laughs> All right. And uh, I can have that back here. Got a bit more light actually on the train now. And, uh, cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I have missed sparkling water. I think they do sparkling water very well here in uh, Taiwan. And uh, how's your coffee? Good. Very wow, good. look at the view here. Coffee with the view. The best. <laughs> so we're going to head towards the toilets to see what the situation is looking like there. There we go, toilets just up here. Let's press this button. Alright, so. Hi, you got a vending machine. So you can get uh, some drinks. But uh, it looks like there's a unisex toilet, but there's a woman's only toilet, so that is nice. Okay, so, alright, so you got a urinal, a very standard bathroom, nothing wrong with that, and uh, very easy to open. And uh, this is the view on the train, just leaving Taipei. So, very uh, nice experience here on the train. Let's open this door again. Going to be a little bit quiet because people are being quiet, but it's really nicely air conditioned. Not too cold, not too hot, just the right temperature. So it does feel very comfortable. They have a women's only uh, toilet. So it's nice for the ladies. Yeah. So we're about halfway through the journey. I just want to show you how fast we're going because we're going pretty fast. We've got my speedometer map here. We're going at almost 300 kilometers per hour. That's absolutely insane. And I'm actually having the pocky I bought from Shi Mending, uh, which is a banana flavored pocky. So uh, these are super addictive. Yeah. Mm. He's literally having it every day. It's true, good. It's so addictive. We've also got um, these Japanese kind of gummies. All right, guys, we have arrived at Khao Siang. So we need to actually take the MRT to our accommodation. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to take these stairs, get some exercise in. But that train was super smooth super quiet and very clean and comfortable uh, so definitely recommend taking the high-speed uh, rail here the HSR so this is the inside of Zuo Ying station this is the main station here in Kao Siang and uh, we need to take the MRT which I think we have to go this way uh, to take the MRT I think we have to tap on I think we need the cards Carolina 
so the easy cars that we got in Taipei, we can use them all around uh, Taiwan. So we've got our crayon uh, Shin Shin Chin Chan. So let's uh, actually tap on here. Excuse me, the uh, MRT, do we go this way? Go out and SS2 go downstairs. Okay, so we have to go outside and then yeah. down. Okay, sure, sure. All right, guys, let's uh, tap on here. Oh, is this in Valley Club? You have a ticket. This is the uh, subway. Ah, okay. Uh, we need to get a ticket. We, we can't use the easy card. Ah, uh, you can use it in the subway station. Okay, uh, we need to use our uh, pass. Uh, ticket, train ticket. Ah, uh, train ticket. Okay. Uh, we just came uh, from Taipei. Taipei, okay. Yes. Okay. On the uh, high speed. High speed, yeah. All right. Okay. So we can just uh, uh, scan the QR code. All right, just like that. Uh, you, you want to take the subway or local train? Uh, MRT. MRT, you go straight to number two. Exit number two. Okay, sure, sure. All right, very helpful. Always willing to help you here in Taiwan. And Caroline is just behind me. So, need to exit the station and exit two. I can see up there to take the MRT. And uh, Caroline is just here. Let me guess, you're going to keep these as like a souvenir. <laughs> so Carolina likes to uh, save all of these kind of like tickets. So like baseball game tickets, sports tickets, flights. Um, and uh, I think we need to exit, exit two. Ah, there we go, exit two. So we're going to head to our accommodation. We're going to take the MRT there. I'm hoping we can get a <clears throat> early check-in because uh, the check-in is at three o'clock, but it's now around, it's gonna take, we're gonna get there around one, one o'clock. So maybe they'll be able to check us in early, get these big backpacks off our backs because uh, yeah, going around with these is not gonna be fun. Um, if not, we're just gonna leave our big bags and head to a really good local food place uh, to try kind of one of the specialities here in Kaohsiung. Okay, we found exit two, the Shing Kong Mitsukoshi. And I think we have to go down. Yes, for the MRT, nice. I like how everything's well labeled. So this is the MRT. We're now underground. Uh, I don't know where we're going, but we're basically using Google Maps and then uh, just following the instructions. But the platform might be over here. We're going to be taking the red line to our accommodation. And then uh, actually, if they check us in early, we can show you the accommodation before we go to eat. See how lucky we get actually with that. I always like it when we get checked in early. It always feels good. But uh, check in is what time? I think it's like three o'clock. I find sometimes the check-in times are actually way too late. I think one, two o'clock is, is fine, but uh, MRT, platform. MRT platform. I think we should just go into the MRT. Yep, let's just go. Let's just tap it here. There we go. Okay, so now the platforms. We have to figure out. Caroline has got the phone. We're going to Shaogan. 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 See, it's funny because on the Google Maps it says X for Shaogan, like the first letter, but here. Caroline, it says Shaogan. Look. Is it Shaogan? Platform 1. I think we will. I think we go up here to Shaogan. I think the train is arriving. Do you think that's for the train, do you think? <laughs> but uh, we figured it out, we're taking the red line to towards Xiaogang and then getting off at San Duo Shopping District. Mm -hmm. Next to Central Park. Yeah, next to Central Park. Okay, so we're heading on to the train. Let's try and find a seat. Uh, I think... Uh, I think we just stand up. It's not too bad. I think we've got like maybe 12 minutes. So 
not too bad. And plus with the bags, it gets a bit awkward having to sit down and put the bags down. So you can see there is like a green theme happening here in the station. Even the seats outside are green. And then you got these kind of like hand holding things to keep you upright. And uh, it kind of matches Carolina's bag. So we've arrived. Uh, we need to find exit five and then head to our accommodation. I must say the transport here in Taiwan is very good, very clean and uh, there's plenty of space. Um, especially on this one here, there was uh, lots of seats and uh, not too many people, but I guess it's not peak time. But uh, yeah, very happy with the uh, transport options here. And uh, we need to find exit five, which is up here. Yes. So when we're looking at Google Maps, it always tells us the exit to go towards where we want to go. You've got like, a nice little lift going on in here. The question is, Carolina, are we going to be lazy? With the backpacks, yes. Yeah, with the backpacks, most of the times it is, yes, we're going to be lazy. Okay, let's tap off with Crayon Shin Chan. Shin uh, Bank Card, that's a bank card. Which one do we scan? Oh, IC card maybe? Oh, oh this one here. Oh, there we go. Sure, <laughs> sure. I was so confused. Uh, did that look, uh, didn't look very intuitive to me mm. where to do it. It was like a... A funny one, like a on the side. It was like a really strange one, yeah. That was not... Uh, I'm, I'm not surprised the guy came over to help us because he's probably thinking, oh God, foreigners again. Can't tap off. But uh, you always have uh, these lo like kind of lockers at the station so you can actually store things. Ah, exit five. Carolina knows the way. They always have lockers um, at the stations, so if you want to kind of store stuff away while you'll uh, maybe... Actually, they're not big enough to put uh, backpacks in, but actually, that's so true. They're quite small lockers. Mm -hmm. If they had big lockers, it'd be really nice because we could actually just drop off our bags and then just wander around. But we can see the light. So this is pretty much our first look of Khao Siung here. Oh wow, super bright and sunny, very nice. I've got a good feeling about this place and uh, again you can use the smart cards to actually use the U-bikes just over here but uh, yeah just over here. I'm super thirsty now. Where are we going to? Oh, them buildings up there look really cool. All right, guys, so we have just arrived at our uh, hostel. It's actually a hostel, but we do have a private room. Let's see if we can get an early check-in. It's one o'clock right now, and check-in time is usually three o'clock. Let's have a look. So we're at the fly-in. We actually have to head down into the basement. This is kind of creepy. All right, actually, I can just... The lighting's not too bad. This is very interesting. Check in, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Check in. Okay, so you can actually take the lifts down and uh, let's uh, push the button. Oops, there we go. Oh. It's nice. Uh, Ni hao. Uh, check in. Yes, do you have the reservation? Uh, yes, uh, it's under Jayesh Chaya uh, on Agoda. Sure. Okay, let's uh, whip out the passport. So I'll get it out of this leather pocket. There we go. And here we go. Passport. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure, sure. So we're still waiting to check in. I think there's an issue with their kind of car machine on their side. So I think we can have some time some sweets. This is the cola one. Trying to wash the hands using this. This is the smoked plum one. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. It tastes like cola. I like the sweet cola taste. Mm. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Oh, 
littering, are you, Caroline? I have smoke plant. Is it smoke? Smoke. Can, mm-hmm. s- mm-hmm. can, you, can you taste the smoky flavor? Mm-hmm. A lot. <laughs> Caroline is in love with plums. Mm. Oh, hopefully we get checked in soon. It still would be an early check-in, but uh, see what the room's like. Here we go. All right, let's start. Ah, we can put these uh, slippers on. Yes. Nice. Okay, you know, you're gonna go for the pink ones. Yes. <laughs> you like the pink ones? Okay. Oh. And uh, what, what was your name? My name is Angela. Nice Angela. Oh, okay, nice. I'm Jay. Jay. And, and Carolina. Carolina. Catherine. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, so we've got a nice little gated community going on here. Okay, so we got some water from here. Perfect. And the tea bags are all for free. Ah, oh, tea bags, nice. That's perfect. Nice. That's always a nice touch. I love drinking tea. Okay, we're going to be staying in staff only. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. And if you need to use the refrigerator, just write down your checkout date and mm-hmm. your room number. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, and here's the public restroom. All right, so we have shared bathrooms here. Yeah. Yes, on the left Ooh, side wow. is the toilet, and right hand side is the shower room. It's actually quite big. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. Okay, because uh, you have very good reviews on uh, a booking, like a 9.3 or something like this. Yes. yes. Okay, so we're now going towards the room, I take it. Okay. Alright, it's room 315. Okay, alright, nice. Perfect. <laughs> Is it possible to get the room with the window? Oh, no, the, uh, the room with window yeah. uh, on the next floor are all fully booked. Ah, oh, fully booked, okay. Yes, alright, that's okay, no problem. Alright. Turn down the air conditioner Aircon? for you. You sure. can adjust the temperature with the buttons. Okay, awesome. And there are totally two cars. Please take care of them. Sure. Yeah. So there's no other way of getting like a bigger room or? Yeah, this is the this biggest. Is, this is the biggest room. Okay, yes. okay, no problem. All right. Okay, thanks, Angela. Okay, thank you very All right. much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. So you always got to try it on because uh, basically they had an issue with the card. They had to cancel our transaction, not with my card, but with their on their end so they cancel they wanted me to give them permission to cancel the book the go to booking um and then do it directly through them so i thought okay let's just ask but uh, okay this will do um, it's fine like it doesn't look quite like what i saw on uh I'm just being honest, like, I don't think it looks quite like what I saw on mm-hmm. Agoda. So I did have a little look on Agoda to see the basically difference in the rooms to the pictures. And it does look like in the pictures, other than the way they've taken the photo, makes it look bigger. So when I got into the room, I was like, whoa, this actually feels a lot smaller than I was expecting, which you guys have probably felt that at some stage. But uh, it's actually quite nice here. You know, it's a clean space. You've got a nice kind of working space here in front of the window. You've got the free water just over here with the tea. So we've just left the hostel. We are now about to go explore Khao Siung. And so far it feels way calmer than Taipei. More of a smaller city vibe. Um, doesn't feel like there's so much traffic or that like maybe it's just all spread out. Um, but it feels very nice to be here. Like it feels very calm, relaxing. You kind of got like small Buildings here and people just. Uh. Mm-hmm. Nihao. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, there's like they're praying there. Alright, guys, we have come to this place. It looks like they're filling up bowels full of delicious pork. And uh, we read that actually you can have like a mix of lean and fatty pork. So I'm gonna get the mixed one. Carolina's more health conscious than I am, so she's gonna probably have the lean one and without coriander because they are the enemy. At least for me, anyway. But uh, I think we can. Uh, gonna translate. So, can you using Google Translate to translate this? Because we're trying to figure out what this is saying. Ni hao. So, so can I, I I show you? Is it okay? Uh, 
So, <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, one mix, mix, one, one for one, and then for her, this one. Okay. And uh, mix, mix. Uh, no, no, Korean. Yes, yeah. She, she. Okay. You okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Actually, I think this is. Can I? Uh, it's okay if I. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So we have the lean meat pork here. This looks like sauerkraut. She's putting in a mix for me. So she's adding this beautiful fatty pork belly it looks like. And uh, I think this is kind of some kind of seasoning here. And this is Carolina's with the lean I pork. And the uh, sauerkraut. Yeah. Look at this guys. This is the, the fatty pork. Oh, that looks so good. And uh, I think the soybean milk is really good. Shesha. <laughs> Uh, the soybean milk is really good, so I'm gonna get some soybean milk. And this is the station where we pay at. You can see they're actually cooking the pork belly just over there. <laughs> Very friendly, that's so nice. Like uh, they had no problems with communication, they just said, okay, just come and pick what you want. And the uh, Bank of England strikes again with her 1,000 1, uh, Taiwan dollars. You can see there's children on the uh, currency. I've never seen that before. It's always some kind of old person. And then it looks like some kind of pheasant bird in the mountain. Maybe this one. Sweeter, sweet, sweet, yes. <laughs> sweet. So uh, they were just wondering what flavor, what do I want? Just no sweet uh, soybean uh, milk or whether? Uh, sugar, yes, sugar, yes. Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is uh, interesting. I've never had it in this kind of bottle form. Okay. Two twenty. Yes. <laughs> so that's two twenty uh, Taiwan dollars. And there's a queue just there. <laughs> there's a queue just over there. And I think we can actually just sit down uh, mm -hmm. behind this. Okay. Share, share. Bye. All right, so we've got our food. I think we're going to sit down here, just over here. And uh, there is a, a queue still because someone actually put an order in for like, I think 20 of these. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's uh, set you guys up over here, right in front of the shop. First, I think maybe I got to mix this around. I don't know. I'm just going to mix it anyway, like this. And this is the sweet one. So this is the sesame. Apparently it's organic sesame soybean milk. Oh, that's nice. Mm. It's got a very strong sesame flavor. It's not overly sweet, just a little bit of sweetness. And very refreshing because it's cold. Mm. You want to try it? Mm. Carolina's like addicted to sesame. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. It's kind kind of thick. Yes, yeah, like thick. Uh... Like a kind of like a yogurt, drinking yogurt. Yeah, it's not uh, liquidy. It's like a, yeah. in between like a, a smoothie and a like liquid a drink. Mm. Mm. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely jam packed, full of the meat. So you got sauerkraut in there, uh, some kind of seasoning with some kind of chili sauce. And I can actually smell peanuts. Oh, there's peanuts inside mm. as well. There's peanuts. Mine's without coriander. Mine is without the <laughs> And this one is uh, the fatty one, and Karen's got a lean one, so. Oh my god, it smells so good. <laughs> mm. It's like heaven. Mmm, that is so good. Mm. Mm. It melts in your mouth. Mm. You got pieces of the. I'm gonna grab some. Oh my, it's actually mm -hmm. melting in my hand. And it's a little bit sweet, right? It's like literally melting in my hand. Mm -hmm. So good. There's a sweet kind of flavor to it. And also the process, like how how we could watch them making it, it felt so real. Mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's so I've never good. had anything like this in my life. Yeah. Mm. So many different flavors going on. Mm. You got the sauerkraut, which is giving kind of like a pickly taste. Yeah. And you have the pe uh, peanut. That was the uh, seasoning, must have been peanut. Mm. And then you got the pork, which is melting in my mouth. Mm. Now, 
you got a lean one. Can I actually just grab some of that lean meat from there? Right. So Caroline's got all of hers with the lean meat. So good. Mm. So the fatty one is the pork belly one. It's just so delicious. Look at this. Mm. Jam packed. If you're a meat lover and you're like not super health conscious, then definitely go for the, the mixed one. Get a bit of both. And uh, we're just uh, on the road literally here, but this is absolutely delicious. Uh, bye bye. 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 <laughs> super friendly. Very nice. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, there's plenty more content coming from Taiwan and the rest of the world. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.